Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do after you have exported your reels, your Instagram reels that you designed, okay, you are going to go to your Instagram and then you are going to take a screenshot, just take a screenshot of any Instagram page that you, maybe your own or anybody's own, I just did this one randomly, it's my page actually, but alright, so now once you've done that, you bring it into your Alight, Alight Motion. And then the next thing you want to do is just bring in your video, that one, you, your Instagram Reels. I already did that and it's here. So I'll just bring that in and drop it on top of the um, Instagram um, screenshot that you made. right? And then you just adjust it appropriately. Once you are satisfied with the adjustment, um, you go ahead and export it. You get it now? So if you, are, if you are okay with the arrangement and everything, if you are satisfied with the way it's looking, then just go ahead and export it right here. Click on export and then you export it. I already exported mine so I don't have to do it again. And then the next thing you want to do now is go to your um, CapCut. All right? I'm here in CapCut so I'll add a new project. Good. And then I'll go to that um, exported Instagram uh, whatever that we we made the one with the uh, uh, Instagram background that's the one you're going to uh, import now you get it now all right guys so I'll go ahead and pick mine this is my own as you can see and then you add it now once you've added it you now come to you see um, format go to format we don't want it to be in this um, portrait format we want it to be in um, uh, 16 by 9 this is the format we want it to be in all right all right so once you have done that you come to go out here and then you click on the um, the video and then you come to animation you see animation here guys click on animation now you don't want in animation, you don't want as animation, you want a combo animation. So you click on combo animation. Now you, you need um, data for this guy, so make sure you have data enabled on your smartphone. And then you have to scroll, scroll to the effect where you see smartphone. Yes, you see this smartphone, this one, the first one, click on it, alright? And then you have something like this immediately it, uh, it applies the effect on your your video and then you click ok now you come out this deselect the video and scroll to canvas thank you scroll to canvas and select color now you can just pick any color that you want uh, i would prefer this color right that's the color i want to use for this one now so now that that is done we don't want this so i'll delete it now you have this okay guys now I you can leave it in the center if you want to but I don't want mine to be in the center so I'll just drag it to the side here okay so I'll leave it to the side here so I can add my text to this side so you can either leave it here or you can leave it here whichever one suits you is fine with me so I'll leave mine here because I want to put my text on this side of the video now good the next thing I want to do is because I, I think the, the animation is very slow, so I'll come to speed and then this is what I did, click on speed, I'll click on normal, I don't want the curve and then I'll increase the speed to 2 to times 2 and then that's done guys. So now the next um, animation is uh, you click on this and you scroll to where it says copy and then you click on copy and then it duplicates it. Now we don't want the same animation on it so you click on your video and come to animation and then combo it will scroll to where the, the previous animation you chose is you see and then you click on this the next one and then it will ap apply that effect right there very simple guys so you click on it again and go to copy you copy it for the third time and then you come to animation go to combo and then it will scroll again to where your anim your previous animation is and then you can apply the last one okay guys and then we are almost done so you see we've already done all this so the next thing you want to do now is bring in your text if you have a text just 
um, type in a text or whatever. Um, I have a template of a text of the text I used. I I designed it in a light motion and then I applied green effect, um, green uh, and green background um, to it. So I'll click on overlay and then I'll add overlay. And then I'll pick my you see now add and then once that is done i'll just click on this i'll click on um i'll scroll to chroma key and then i'll just remove uh, by now everybody should know how to use chroma key all right and then intensity and then i'll just do that and we are done guys we are done that's it that's it right there i think i need to uh adjust the intensity a little bit is too yeah that's it guys and you are done so for the last part where i used to uh two effects what you want to do now is just come here i'll come here and then i will duplicate i'll just copy say copy yes copy that and then I'll come here at this beginning right here then I'll go to add overlay so guys before I did this video I already did um, you see this ones just exactly the way we did add just exactly the way we did this and add um this background this um faint ash color background that's exactly what i did i did it for each of these um videos and then i added uh, a green background and exported them one after the other okay this is, is a very simple thing to do just instead of this background put green and export it simple before you add your text add a green background export do the second video, add a green background, export. Do the third, add a green background and export it, all right? It's a very simple thing to do. So that's what I did. And yeah, so it gave me this one. Then I, I'll now chroma key it. Chroma key, intensity, and yeah. So why I did this is so I can have two um, smartphones with the effect. On the same scene okay so what you do now is you just um, reduce the size of this and then you just drop it right there okay and then every other thing is just your own creativity just adjust it until it's it gets to the way you want it okay so just adjust it like that and once you are happy with what you have guys you are done all right so it's not something too difficult to handle right so that's exactly how i did the mock-up of um that that smartphone mock-up of the instagram reel video that i made all right guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye